James! Uncle Josh! James! Dad! Timmy! James! Uncle Josh! James! Dad! Timmy! James! Uncle Josh! James! Dad! Timmy! What did I do? Oh, nothing, dude. I just needed an opening bit. Extreme close up! Whoa! 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 They are Joshua, Joshua, and they, they are David, David, and they are brothers, not lovers! You realize we just referenced two movies in our opening bit. It's awesome. Good times. Good times. Yeah. I'm Davey. Hey. That's Josh. And that's some good coffee. We're going to be doing a new little bit for you guys called Overrated, Underrated. I'm Josh. And in this, I'm going to list some movies and we're going to discuss whether or not it is overrated or underrated. And you can comment later as to which you, if you agree or not. I promise we're not going to agree on it all. No, we're not. That's, the, that's why we did this, because a lot of people say, like, you two agree on every single movie. That is very not true. You know what else we don't agree on? I thought Blanche was hotter. He thinks it's Rose. I didn't say she was hotter. I said that she's the one I'd want to be with. Mm-hmm. Because I'm sorry, you can have your slut. I'll take the St. Olaf stories. So for our first movie, Point Break. I wouldn't say it's underrated. It's way overrated. Excuse me? It's totally overrated, dude. It's just a testosterone-fueled film with Keanu Reeves. No real story other than what we've seen a thousand times from Mel Gibson and the rest of them. From that generation. Definitely overrated. What do you think, Davey? Josh, you ignorant slut. How can you say that Point Break was overrated? It had everything somebody could want, okay? It had Keanu. It had Gary Busey. It had Patrick Swayze. It had John C. McGinty from Scrubs. What other movie could you see Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, and Gerald Ford robbing banks? It had surfing and bank robberies. It was like watching Surf Ninjas and Heat combined. Overrated? No, sir. The next movie, one I definitely think is overrated. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of internet heat for this, and I'm looking forward to it. But really, is there a more overrated movie than Top Gun? I'm sorry, but this movie did not have much of a story. It didn't really go anywhere. It was just like, oh, we're training to fly jet planes, and to add a little bit of drama, for no reason they decided to kill the guy from ER in a training accident. And the only goose is the one from Mad Max, and both gooses died. Yeah, but we do happen to agree on that one. Top Gun, overrated. Definitely overrated. Next, a movie that I kind of want to say how dare you for people saying is overrated. Because in my opinion, despite the fact that it's got the cult following does, is one of the most underrated movies ever. And that would be The Boondock Saints. That, that, that movie is definitely underrated. Yeah, I know we're agreeing on these last two, but hey, we're only human. But seriously, I've seen internet trolls saying that this movie was overrated. How could it be overrated? It had Willem Dafoe. Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus, who, as we know, plays that character from The Walking Dead that everybody freaks out if he's going to die or something. I don't know. I don't watch The Walking Dead. Overrated. Don't you ever say that again. Walking Dead is everything. No. It's an overrated piece of crap. It is the greatest thing ever to happen. The comic books, underrated. The TV show, overrated. Davy, you thoughtless whore. Funny story about that, though, that I do have to tell real quick. My wife loves that show. And one time I come out and she's watching and there's this character that I know the name of now, Nishon. Michonne with an M. Michonne, sorry. Michonne. Whatever her friggin' name is, 
I come out and my and my wife's like, that's my favorite character. She carries that sword thingy. Sword thingy? <laughs> Could that perhaps be a sword? Not a, a sword katana. thingy. It's a katana. A katana is a sword. So if you would have said katana or sword, both would have been acceptable things to say. But sword thingy. You both belong together. That'd be like saying, I'm, I'm drinking this, this coffee-like drink. So for the next one that I feel is very, very overrated, which is pretty much going to be the rest of this list. And I know I'm going to catch another huge heaping thing of flack on the internet for this, but my goodness, I don't think there is a more overrated movie than E.T. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. And I mean it. It makes no sense. They talk about it like it's such a classic. What was classic about it? A non-existent story? A two hour long boar fest where really nothing happened and everything was just thrown together? The only thing E.T. had going for it was a cute looking alien. That's it. There was nothing like that penis breath. I. 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 You what? You know what I hate? You know what I hate? People who do this! And people who hate E.T. I love you, Amy, because I hate that movie. Like, when I was a, as a kid, when Mom and Dad brought it over, it didn't keep me quiet for two hours. It helped put me to sleep. I love that movie. No. That little alien almost made me cry. That movie made me cry every time they put it on because I knew I was about to be bored. And now that movie makes me cry because Henry Thomas played a mother lover in that fourth Psycho movie. It's gross. Freaking career died after that. Wait, what are we talking about again? Now back on the TV shows. Another overrated show that I hate. That I'm gonna credit for my hatred for this show is mostly your fault. Xena. That's right. The Warrior Princess was overrated. Oh. If anything, it was underrated. Didn't get the play it deserved. No, it got way too much play. Got very little of it. What do you mean very little? It had like ten seasons. Ten seasons of crap. Seven. Oh god, it was so it went on so long that it felt like ten. <laughs> Stop yelling at me! Oh god. I love Xena. Really? Then why'd you say earlier that you hated it? I didn't say that. Do you forget who does the editing of these videos? Watch the clip. I hate Xena. You smarty little punk. I hate you. Seriously. Yeah, well, I hate you. Because here's the thing. Part of the reason I say that I hate Xena as much as I do, it's his fault. Because here's the thing. Growing up, there was a lot of stuff that he would be like, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, you'd like it so much, you gotta watch it. Most of the time, I didn't. Sometimes I did. Sometimes it was a gem. But most times, I didn't like it. Xena was one of those that it wasn't enough that I watched it and said, okay, dude, I don't like it. He would not stop trying to go like, well, no, you just gotta watch this episode. No, no, you just gotta watch this episode. I ended up knowing a lot about a show I didn't even like. You like Jock, sir. That was the only character I liked. But I didn't like Xena, yet I knew her name was Lucy Lawless, and that she was Australian, and New that she... New Zealander. T potato to tomato. I think a lot of New Zealand people are going to hate me now. I knew that she did the national anthem and had a, ma a wardrobe malfunction. I knew she had she quite a few of those during the Spartacus show. I knew that she was on an episode of Saturday Night Live. Why did I know this? Not because I cared, but because you wouldn't leave me alone. Did I you knew know that she was on an episode of Something So Right? Sadly, yes, I did. And none of you even remember that show. I'm surprised I do. It had Marnie Patterson on it. I knew that one of the girls in that show that didn't even have a huge part was also in that stupid movie Return of the Living Dead 3. Oh yeah, Mindy Clark. She played Velasca. I know a lot about Xena. 
I have the entire thing on DVD. I used to have all the episodes taped. And he would make me watch them. He would not shut up until I'd watch them. And I was trying to brainwash him. I should have tied him to the chair, taped up his eyes like Alex from A Clockwork Orange, played a little music. It's a sin! At least it's a sin! At least you weren't going to do that with beautiful Ludwig Van. But... Here is the thing, you practically did, because you would not shut up and leave me alone until I'd watch this episode, and that episode, as if the magic episode was going to make me go, you're right, Josh, I'm a Xena fan. If you had just accepted no for an answer, I would just simply not like Xena. But because of you, I hate Xena. I hate that I know who Renee O'Connor is. You do know Bruce Campbell was in the show too, right? Okay, it had one saving grace. But you shut your hole. Underrated. And one last overrated movie. I'm going to get a lot of flack from this. Not just from the internet people, but from nerds galore. Who act like this is one of those holy grail movies. But ever since I was a kid, I've never understood its appeal. This movie did not start out great as far as, like, <laughs> he's anticipating it because he literally does not have a clue of what I'm going to say. This movie, when, it's got, when it first got released, was low budget, didn't have a strong start, but very quickly, through word of mouth, gained a big, huge following that today has a whole cult following, and in my opinion, it is so overrated that people go nuts for the movie Jaws. This boring movie sucked. If it makes you feel any better, I thought so too. It was the cheesiest shark effects they could ever get. See, this is what I'm expecting from the internet. I swear, blood vengeance. On you. Everybody like, oh, Richard Dreyfus was great. I was glad 30 years later when he got eaten in Piranha. You know, that was actually the character from Jaws. I know, that's why I threw that in there. Oh, good Because of course... Somebody I... who doesn't know about it, he certainly knows a lot about it. God. <laughs> that's God, thanks. I hate you, bro. <laughs> that's thanks to you. Because you are one of those people that when somebody really doesn't care about a movie, you will not leave them alone with the facts about it. I don't care that there was a scene where a little kid got eaten by a shark that they cut out so that it wouldn't be offensive. I don't care! Grover Cleveland! Herbert Hoover. Rutherford B. Hayes. James K. Polk! Andrew Jackson. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. William Howard Taft. You know, I know we're throwing these as insults to me that shut up, but I'm kind of jazzed that we know our president. Yeah. <laughs> this movie is not overrated. It is. Smile, you son of a bitch. If I had a Jaws right now, I would eat you with it. I don't know what that meant, but I would. I'm sorry, but the only Jaws that I care about is the villain from James Bond. You know what's bugging me? I can't find out anywhere on the internet where Clancy Brown played the character, yet there have been sources on the internet that said he also played that character. Not just the guy who was, you know, Adam Sandler's boss and Happy Gilmore, but him too. Where? That is a pretty cool character. His name is Jaws. He kills people. Stop calling me Sean Connery. I have a name. It's Dragon. Please watch my movie, The Avengers. Somebody has to like it. Or second thought, don't watch it. That way you're still like me. So there you have it. Those are some movies and TV shows that I think are overrated. A couple underrated. We don't agree on all of them. Let's hear what you think. First, hit like, hit subscribe, Hit that little bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. And in the comment section, tell me if you agree with them being overrated or underrated. Woodrow Wilson. <laughs>
And also tell me how you feel about this Ulysses S. Grant over here. Love you guys.